In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create text on a path inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So we're inside of Adobe After Effects. In order to create this animation, we need to actually start with some text. So we'll press the horizontal type tool, select the video, and we'll just type out a word, phrase, or sentence of our choice. Now this needs to be quite long to fill up the shape. So I'm just going to put Hello, how are you? And then I'm just going to copy and paste that a few times. Now, as you can see at the moment, it's spilling off the screen, but don't worry about that for now because we're going to map this to our custom path. But of course, if you wanted to change any properties to the font, so you wanted to change the font, the weight, the size, anything like that, then you can do so by going into the character window. But now I'm just going to draw some masks. So. I'm going to go up to the rectangle tool at the top of After Effects and I'm just going to draw a square. But as you can see, this has created a shape layer that is not what we want. So let's delete that. Let's select the text layer and we'll just draw that mask again. And as you can see, that's just cropped our text layer and that's not what we want here. But don't worry, we're going to fix that in a moment. Now, as well as this rectangle, I'm also going to go back up into there. And with that selected, I'm just going to draw a circle or an ellipse. Then I'll go and create a star again, making sure that is selected, but I'm going to move this back down. And these are our paths. This is what the text is going to follow. And if you go into the free draw Bezier tool or the pen tool, as it's called in After Effects, you can actually draw custom shapes as well. So we've got four different shapes there, four different masks. Now, in order to map these to those specific paths, you want to go into the text layer. So select the drop down arrow, select text, We'll go into path options. Path should be set to none at the moment, but if we select mask one, you can see that is set to mask one. And mask one, that is the purple one, that is the rectangle. Now at the moment, you can see something has gone really wrong here. And that is because if we look at our masks, you can see mask one is set to none, but mask two, three, and four are add. So let's just go for none on all of these. And as you can see, that is now only following the rectangle. It's ignoring everything else. Nothing is being cropped. It's just following the path of that rectangle. Now in path options, if we look down here, we can change the masks. So we can change to mask two, mask three, and mask four. So it's changing the shape depending on that mask. And of course as well, if you wanted to, you can change the mask and the text will follow. This means you can actually create some animations so if we go into mask four, create a new keyframe on mask path, go over two seconds and move that or move this one specific point. You can see when we go to the beginning and we play this back, you can see that mask is now animating and the text is following that mask, which is really cool. But let's just go back to mask two because I feel like this one was quite a nice one. There we go. This was the ellipse. Now, if we go into path options, we've got a few different settings here that are going to affect the look of our video. So you can do reverse path and at the moment it is currently off, but if we press on, it's going to put the words on the outside of the mask. So it's going to reverse it. Then you've got perpendicular path, which is on at the moment. And this just means it's sitting on top of that mask. But if we turn that off, then it's all just going to be completely straight, which might be the look you're going for. But personally, I feel like I should leave that on. Then you've got force alignment, which is just going to fill the shape. So if we change this to mask one, you can see we've got a really big rectangle. But if I turn that off, so force alignment off, it's not filling it because we don't have enough text. But when I turn that on, it's going to fill that rectangle and it doesn't matter how many words you cram in there. It's always going to fill that mask exactly how you want it to. Then you've got first margin and last margin. So this is basically just moving the start point and the end point essentially. Then if we go into more options as well, you can see we've got a few more settings here, but we'll ignore those for now. So from here, we can now go ahead and create a scrolling effect on the path. Now, in order to do that, we need to animate the position, but I'm not talking about the transform position because that's going to move everything as one big solid. We need to add another round of position onto this so that it only affects the path. So if we go into animate, you can see there's this triangle here. We'll press that and we'll select position. Now we'll go to the very beginning. Make sure this is in animator one, not transform. Create a brand new keyframe on position. Scroll a few seconds over and we're just going to increase the position 
And as you can see, it's going to animate around the mask. So when we play this back, you can see we've got this video and the text is just animating around. It looks great. And if I change the path from mask one to mask two, you can see it's doing it on the ellipse. It is doing it on the star. And it is also doing it on the custom shape that we created. Now you're probably wondering why this is happening here. So you can see here, it's all of a sudden doing this weird effect. And that is because we have a harsh edge on the mask. So you can see, if we look at mask four, so let's delete one, two, and three. You can see mask four has got really harsh edges. But if we go into the pen tool and we'll create a new mask and this time we'll add some curved edges. So in order to create a curve, you want to hold down on the point and then just drag over to create that point like this. Then we've got to close this off. Great. So now if I change the mask to mask five, you can see we're not going to have that problem because we've got those smooth edges. We haven't got those harsh corners. That's just going to keep flowing around really well. You can see this was the one harsh corner that I had and it's doing that horrible effect again. Whereas everything else is curved and that's why it's flowing around really nicely. So that is how you would add text to a custom path and create a scroll animation on that text inside of Adobe After Effects. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider subscribing or checking out this video.